In this video we're asked to factorise x squared plus 5x plus 6. So you can see it's quadratic because it has an x squared part, an x part and a constant. So we're going to use the guide number method here. So with the guide number method we multiply a by c. So remember a quadratic is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So a is the x squared coefficient and c is the constant. So it's x squared on its own, that means it's 1x squared. So a is 1 and c is 6. 1 by 6 will give us guide number of 6. Next we have to write out the factors of 6. So we've one, multiplied by 6, we've minus 1, multiplied by minus 6, 2 by 3, and minus 2, multiplied by minus 3. So they're all the sets of factors of 6. Our next step is to identify the pair of factors that will add up to give the x coefficient, which in this case is plus 5. So which of these sets of factors add up to give us plus 5? So if we analyse it we can see plus 2 and plus 3. So what we'll do is we'll rewrite our quadratic equation using that information. So it becomes x squared Instead of plus 5x, we'll break it up into plus 2x plus 3x. So 2x plus 3x is still 5x, but we're just rewriting it to help us factorise. Our next step is to factorise by grouping. So we'll pair up, we've got x squared plus 2x, so they both have x in common, and we've got 3x plus 6, so 3 divides into both of them. So we'll take x as the common factor here, divide x into both terms. 3 is the common factor here, so we'll divide 3 into both terms. So x squared divided by x is just x. 2x divided by x is 2. 3x divided by 3 is x and 6 divided by 3 is 2. At this point we can see we have a common factor of x plus 2. So we're multiplying x by x plus 2 and 3 by x plus 2. So we can rewrite this equation as x plus 3, so that's the letters outside, so x plus 3 by x plus 2. And that's our quadratic equation factorised.